split second. Considered by many to be one of the most destructive and fun big color combat games ever made, was released in 2010. Made by the British studio BlackRock and published by Disney Interactive Studios, Split Second came to the racing games world to shake it from its foundations. The game is set around a TV show where its contestants compete in exciting and destructive races in different locations that are rigged to blow. Whether it's in a city, a power plant, or an airplane graveyard, the tracks are filled with explosives that can be triggered to destroy rival racers. These mechanics made Split Second a unique kind of vehicular combat game, but this was only the beginning of a big story. In today's episode, I'll talk about a very ambitious project. A sequel that could have cranked up the havoc and destruction of the first game to 11. This is Split Second 2. The first game ended with the player winning the championship. As the player is being congratulated, all the explosives are suddenly getting triggered in the city, and an unknown crew breaks into the set, destroying everything on their path. All of this leads to a cliffhanger that was meant to continue in the next game. The sequel would have started with you, the player, trying to escape the city, which is falling apart. The bad guys who were demolishing the city were from a rival TV company that split second put out of business in the 80s and they were back for revenge. There's a video of an early prototype of the game that shows the player running away, driving on rooftops and trying to evade the collapsing buildings and explosions. Most likely, this was how the second game was going to start. The game would have expanded the ways to play. Cars wouldn't be the only vehicle you could drive, but also boats. There will also be sections in the story where you would have to play missions on foot, there were videos showcasing the boats and the on foot gameplay, but as of now, they're lost, as the channel who uploaded them was terminated long ago. The only proof of the existence of these new gameplay mechanics are storyboards that show different scenarios of the story surrounding the new ways to play. These concepts also suggest that the evil team that's trying to kill you has their own fleet of vehicles, and you would have to fight back. Whether it's driving a boat in a storm drain trying to evade the attacks of an helicopter, or stepping down of your vehicle and taking their cars down from a safe distance. There would have been sections on a helicopter, but not much is known about that. Still, the addition of other vehicles is impressive, but there's more, we're barely on the tip of the iceberg. There's not a lot known about the whole story of the game, just a vague idea that can be put together with the details of the storyboards and concept arts, but there's a possibility that Split Second 2 would have acted as both a sequel and a prequel of the first game. There are many concepts that suggest the apparition of flashbacks to the 80s in the game, as well as classic versions of cars from the first game. It's almost certain that these flashbacks would have showed the backstory of the rivalry between the Split Second TV show and this other mysterious TV company. The story would have had actual characters, not just names on a screen, but actual people, as you can see in these pictures. There would also be car collecting and online card trading. It's likely the cards would contain extra pieces of the lore and information, 
and it's possible that some of them could be used as car upgrades or drivers the player could select. And not a lot is known about this feature. Split Second 2 was in the making for at least a couple of months before being cancelled. Disney Interactive Studios was losing hundreds of millions of dollars, and despite Split Second being critically acclaimed, it didn't perform well when it comes to sales, as it was released at the same week as other two racing games, Blur and Mod Nation Racers. Split Second and Blur's sales were outnumbered by Mod Nation Racers, and coincidentally, both had sequels in the making that ended up being cancelled. If you want to know the story behind the Blur sequel that never happened, check the description, there is a link to a video I made about it. And if you want to know more about Mod Nation Racers, I recommend you to check this fun and entertaining video by Jazz. The link to it is also in the description. In 2011, many months after Split Second's release, Disney Interactive had to make some drastic decisions in response to their losses. More than 100 employees at BlackRock were laid off, leaving only 40 people at the studio. Disney Interactive decided to stop publishing console games and moved to mobile gaming. This would be the final blow for BlackRock Studios, which proceeded to close down their doors. Split Second. As great and fun as it is, it was planned to be as nothing but a setup to something greater. A sequel that would expand everything the first game did. And despite having a better end, I hope you all enjoyed hearing the story behind Split Second 2. I want to give a shout out to Rusty and Enders who are part of the Split Second server on Discord and give me a lot of helpful information, as well as the Lost Media Wiki. I also want to thank the team of developers and artists at BlackRock Studios for making such a fantastic game that I still play to this day. Thank you for watching until the end. Consider subscribing, liking the video, and sharing your opinion in the comments. Expect more content soon, and see you next time.